haven't got an opportunity to do with GNOME, I'd love to hear it. Because if you can't answer that, then my theory of using the GNOME desktop um, stands true for my for my own use. I don't think GNOME can change your wallpapers separately on its screen, for example, every, say, one minute. Nope. Uh, without any, I know you can do it with all kinds of things you install. Uh, I'm not sure you can still do that. I haven't, by. to be honest, I haven't actually ever tried to do that because I've never had the need, but I'm just having a look now and I think you're right, Roy. I think the desktop backgrounds are, uh, yes, when, they are set. Yeah, you can't... When, I, when I use Ubuntu 4.10, I, I kind of like that because in SUSE back in the days I could do that, even in 3.1, KDE 3.1. Uh, one of the things about KDE though, I will just go, I mean, you have to, it depends very much which distro you're using, because on OpenSUSE it's going to give you uh, YAS2, which is now being developed also with help from Google Summer of Code, and, and then you have, of course, the uh, the Mandriva, or Magia, or uh, PC, PC Linux OS uses the same type of panels as well. Uh, and you have more of these, you have more of these uh, simplifications that, that are available to you, and they're supposed to automate backups and things like that as well. Uh, and then, of course, you have all these things that you, you call it imitations of Windows. It's, which is no, I wouldn't say it. Yeah, no, no, it, it, it reminds you of yeah, Windows. But, I mean, it, it, people keep talking about how, oh, you know, Vista is a repo for Mac OS X. But that's because Mac OS X is so hyped up, especially in the uh, English-speaking media. But nobody bothers to look at KD and say, oh, look, hold on, KD did it well before. Well, and, and, you know, that, that's something really funny because uh, we need to quantify that. That's actually one of KDE's boasting points. Like, KDE brags all the time that their code is used by all three of the major platforms. Microsoft is using it in Windows. Many Linux distributions are using it as a desktop. And OS X has licensed parts of it to be used. You know, they're... Which is, uh, WebKit, of course, is based on uh, KHTML. Yeah. So it is using a, a lot of code. Uh, in some sense, if you go back to the roots, it's using a lot of the work that was done by KDE developers. Uh, the, the, the primary thing I like in KDE, I think GNOME, I, you're, I'm going to default to Tim on this, I prefer the activities widgets and the ability to have multiple activity spaces. In other words, I can sub-compartmentalize my desktop if I really want to within the confines of a single desktop. I could never figure out an elegant way to do that in GNOME where it didn't like get in my way. Is there or I don't think they have the activities and I, I think activities have been confused. I know how they work and I actually they confuse me more than they help me sometimes because I mistakenly go into the activities uh, region and I start to do things there which I don't intend to do and that's all by accident. And the way I still work is just with 12 desktops each one of them do a head screen and I keep adding more of them. Uh, and it would be nice to, but the thing is, uh, I'm not sure if one of the advantage of activities probably would be to actually shut down processes you don't use when you don't do the activity, so it can save you some memory and things like that. Yeah, yeah but, that's what I do. Basically, I have sub modes for my various desktop. But the biggest I problem I have with KDE, and I'm going to interrupt you all here now, is this silly notion of sticking a K in front of all these native apps. It's, that, it's an old, oh, yeah, yes, that's, that's really oh, great. <laughs> G in front of everything. No, it doesn't. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's so so, but in, in Windows, everything has got a, an R in brackets or a TM in brackets at the end of everything. I, so I installed uh, Magia. I think it was Magia. And I had looked down just at the vanilla sort of package, the packages that came installed as default. And I thought for about three seconds that I'd installed the wrong language package in my computer. I thought I'd installed the Russian version because I could not make head and tail of all these packages with a K in front that looked like a foreign, a completely different language. Um, and that really gets on my goat. Um, there's no need for it. I think it's really silly. And I, I am a K, I do use a couple of, um, KDE apps, for example, K3B, or, yeah, K3B, that's my burning application for, um, for DVDs. Can you give an example of a bad name that starts with a K? <laughs> Sorry? Can you give an example of a bad application name that starts with a K? I mean, apart from the old... Start... You've you put me on the spot now, because I haven't got it. Yeah, because it, it actually helps you in a way. If it starts with a Q to tell you that it's, it's based on Q, uh, or a K, it helps you know that... Or, you know, the K helps you know that this is going to be an A to that. Well, no, and, and I have to play devil's advocate here. How is that different than all the G naming and stuff that's going yeah. on in GNOME? 
But, I mean, I, I was looking at, if you look at the Magia uh, packages that come as default, and I can't start quoting them now because it was long, long since I've removed it off my, sh- my machine, but none of the packages were familiar names and stuck with a K on the front of them. They absolutely meant nothing. You had to click on them and run them in order to find out what they actually did. Oh, yeah. um, which, like, I'm just looking down my package list now with my GNOME um, desktop, and there's nothing here. Like, you've got, I suppose, I've got one here, that's G-Thumb Image Viewer. Well, that's not particularly difficult to work out what it is. Um, and it, for me, it was just this, this K thing is just, I just thought it was rather silly. If, if, you, if I install Windows now, uh, what will my... I mean, I probably I won't be having many applications on it by default anyway, but let's say I... What, what's the Photoshop doing? Is it helping you buy photos, or... I installed Photoshop, and it says Adobe mm. on it. What, what's it doing? Yeah, well, that, that's, a, that's, a, uh, that's a generic household... Yeah, uh, that's a household, okay. Yeah, so, so that's just... Okay, so that's well, okay. a generic... Well, well here's question. my suggestion. Why don't they just put the K in brackets at the end of the application name? That would make sense. Just put a little K in brackets. Uh, because mm. most package managers are going to alphabetically, and you have this... It, it would create other things. I mean, I, 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 like I'm going through the K things now. I have okay. K3B, which right, is you know the worst named application, but we all just know what it is. Uh, it's like, uh, and, and then you have um, K9 copy, uh, KA content, KABU, K, uh, KABU Emotions, KABU Icons, and I'm just going through all it's like... You have things like K-Mail, uh, k uh, not, not, k- Here's one I guess you could complain about, Caffeine, spelled with a K. Because th- you would never know what Caffeine is. Unless... Conversation is another one, I thought. Is that a... No, that's, that's a good name. That's fine. It's... it's, it's... <laughs> He just looks right. He looks right. I I, I guess. And it, it, you have the, the icon telling you what it's doing in some way. Yeah. So, I, I I guess it was. I uh, got quite a few. Uh, what's what's the uh, what's this thing called ICQ? What's what's it doing? What, what is this? What the hell is this thing? <laughs> like, I, well, yeah, 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 ICQ, here's one I'm sure yeah, you hate. One. I'm sure you hate K Blogger. <laughs> K Child Lock. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, actually, actually, to be fair, this the um, social networking apps have been far better. Um, have been, the best ones that I've used have been uh, KDE apps rather than uh, GNOME-based GNOME apps because uh, I'm running Gwibber at the moment, and uh, probably that's an example that's defeated my own argument. And that is probably mm-hmm. one of the worst <laughs> ones I've ever used um, in my life. I found, and also what you were saying about the widgets on KDE, I will say to be fair that um, the integration with social networking sites, if you're that way inclined, is far better within the KDE environment than it is within... Yeah, because everything, you can yeah. just That's kind right. of drag and drop yeah. it wherever the heck yeah. you want. Um, yes. And I will say that, however, the social networking it wasn't really a, a big issue for me, um, how, and I'm quite happy to do it within a browser. Um, but yes, I'll, I'll be fair to KDE, because I got a lot of stick uh, via email in regards to my opinions on KDE after I wrote that... Um, yeah, I, I got some flack uh, last week because I, I wrote something about Conqueror being able to do things they couldn't do in Dolphin, which probably was true in older versions of KDE, but the thing is they caught uh, up with uh, the actually, so. uh, actually, that's still true. One of the that, that is one of the things that bugs me a little bit. Everybody's going and using Dolphin now. You know, Even my favorite distro, PC Land, it's pretty much everything's using Dolphin. And there's a lot I like about Dolphin. It looks a lot more modern. It's great. But one of my peeves with Dolphin is it doesn't fully support tab browsing like Conk did. Right, because uh, it's not really a browser. Yeah, it, w- w- which creates issues. If like I-, I-, I love that menu on the left-hand side, but I want to be able to right-click and open anything on my short menu and a new tab instead of having to go through the three-step process of new tab, then clicking, then I, I don't want to do that. Uh, and if yeah. you've gotten used to tab browsing, like you can in every other in application it. in Linux. Yeah. Oh, you mean the file manager. Well, you could combine mm. the windows. One of the things you can do in KDE, which I don't think you can do in GNOME, is group the windows in such a way so you can click on the title of the window title and change between the... So you, you kind of tabify the windows yeah. that you group. So that's one of the I, nice I, things. I've gotten used to doing it. It's just I miss the ability to right-click on my shortcuts and open them in a new tab, which you can do in Conquer. But it, 
modern distros are really designed to use Dolphin in place of the file browser. But oh, like you say, it's, not, not, a, it's uh, not a true file browser. And I think Dolphin's horrible. And I, I really hate it. Um, I was just, funny enough, I'm just writing something about file management.